Hi everyone, here is our math puzzle for today. We are given here a division problem. All but two digits in this division problem are hidden behind the boxes. We are asked to use logic to reconstruct this division problem, and our main goal is to find what is the three-digit divisor. It looks like there is not enough information to solve this problem, but this problem is easier than it appears. This is considered as one of the most popular problems published in the American Mathematical Monthly in 1950s, and credit goes to P.L. Chesson of the Westinghouse Electric Corporation. You can pause the video and see if you know how to find the value of this three-digit divisor. And if you already know the answer, please write them in our comment section. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's observe that there is a three-digit product here. So when we perform the division, we line up the first digit of the quotient to where we also line up the product. So that means there must be a digit here. And that question mark times this three-digit divisor, the product is this three-digit number. Then we subtract. Normally, we just bring down one digit but what is interesting to note here is two digits were brought down here. This implies that the digit here in the quotient must be zero because you only brought down two digits here if the quotient, when you divide this number by the divisor, is zero. And so you need to bring down the next digit. The same is observed here. Two digits were brought down here, which means that we also have a zero in this location. Now, the significant information that we know here is this digit of the quotient is 8. So 8 times this 3-digit number, the result is another 3-digit number. What does that mean? Let's note that this digit 8 times 125 is 1000, which is the minimum 4-digit number. Since we have here a 3-digit number, this implies that this divisor must be lower than 125. It could be 124 or less. So the range now of values for our divisor is from some number that we do not know yet up to 124, because we are talking here of whole numbers as the domain. Now, let's go to this last digit. The digit here times this three-digit divisor, the result is this four-digit product. Since we already established that if eight is that digit 8 times the divisor resulted to this three-digit product. So clearly, this last digit could not be 8 or lower because that would not result to this four-digit number. So there is no choice for the last digit other than the digit 9. And so 9 times this three-digit number resulted to a four-digit product. Now let's establish this lower limit here. Notice that the minimum four-digit number is 1,000. If we divide it by 9, the result is approximately 111.11. .11. So in order to get a four-digit product here, this divisor cannot be lower than 111.11. .11. And so we now say that the minimum value for our divisor must be 112. It cannot be 111 because we will not get a four-digit number here. So, the range of values therefore now for our divisor is from 112 to 124. Just like that, and we already have these four digits of this five-digit quotient. So let's find now the value of this question mark. Let's focus on this part. This number times a three-digit number is equal to this three-digit product. Since our divisor must be between 112 to 124, then let's check the upper limit. If this digit is 9, 9 times 124 is 1116, which is a four-digit number. But we want a three-digit number, so 9 could not be this question mark if we take the upper limit of our divisor. Let's take the lower limit of the divisor, 112. 9 times 112 gives us another four-digit number, 1008. But we want a three-digit number. So that means 9 cannot be this question mark. So we can now rule out 9 as our candidate for the value of this question mark. Next, let's try 7. 
test the 7 with the upper limit, 124. 7 times 124 is 868. There's no problem because we want a 3-digit number here and we got a 3-digit number. When we subtract, the result is a 2-digit number. Let's assume the maximum difference here. And what's the maximum 2-digit number? That is 99. So, 868, this number, which is the one that we put here, plus 99, the number that we assume here, the sum must be this 4-digit number. But notice that we got only 967, which is a 3-digit number. We want a 4-digit number. This implies that 7 or any digit less than 7 cannot be the value of this question mark because of this. Even if we assume the maximum difference here, we will not arrive at a 4-digit dividend here if the value of this question mark is 7 or less. So we now conclude that the first digit must be greater than 7. So if the first digit must be greater than 7 and 9 is not that first digit, in the range of whole numbers from 1 to 9, there is only one number left, and that number is 8. And so we now conclude that the value of this question mark must be 8. And so going back now to our original problem, we now know that the value of this question mark is 8, and our quotient is 80,809. And our divisor could be any whole number between 112 to 124. So let's find out what's the exact divisor. Let's try first the maximum possible divisor of 124. So this quotient times 124 resulted to this four-digit number. So no problem there. Let's try the next lower whole number. So this quotient times 123 resulted to a seven-digit number. This is significant. Why? Because our dividend here is an eight-digit number. And if we try 123 for the divisor, we only arrive at a seven-digit number. That means our divisor cannot be 123 or lower, but it cannot also be more than 124. So that leaves us with only one choice, and that divisor must be 124. And by knowing the quotient, by knowing what is the divisor, we can now deduce what is the dividend. And here is now the complete reconstruction of this division problem. This is a very beautiful puzzle, and no wonder this was one of the most popular puzzles in the American Mathematical Monthly. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video.